Here we have a 2023 BMW 740i. Now this particular car is black on black. Powertrain consists of a three liter turbocharged inline six, made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. Gets us 375 horsepower, 398 pound feet of torque. And this one's pre owned here at Auto Collection of Murfreesboro, just a few thousand miles. So we're gonna see how it's held up and how it performs. But as we get to the front end here, LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights. We have that nice huge grill here. And as much as I hate the direction that BMW's kind of going with this, it doesn't look as terrible in person. I wish those were a bit smaller. And these LED running lights there, I don't know why, but eh. Again, all this stuff's kind of growing on me, it just looks kind of funny. But as we come around on the wheels here, these are gonna be 20 inch alloy. Then we get passive keyless entry on the front doors. Love this door panel here. This is to adjust the power seat. We have memory seat functions here. We can hit this button and I'll show you what that does later on. Power door lock controls are here. We have that Bowers and Wilkins audio system, one touch automatic up and down windows, power folding mirrors, blind spot monitors. Then we have electronic child locks and we can hit this button and also pull up all the blinds that are available. Now this is how you want to open the door most of the time electronically but if you're ever stuck in here just pull right here and i love how it's nice and hidden in there but that'll still get you out if for whatever reason you lose power to the vehicle headlamp controls are there you just turn the headlamps on or set them to auto there and you can cut everything off there so interesting how that works and then these you'll see them throughout that's actually what adjusts where the the vent turns so as i turn that you can see if you look closely how the vent moves there so interesting power tilt and telescoping steering wheel and then the release for the hood is deep back in here hit that twice but there's the seat itself i love 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 first of all how nice this interior feels but second of all just how it looks very very comfortable but I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs, my driving position. So we're gonna check out the back seat here. So I can already tell you very impressive leg room. And then over here, we have a nice little touch screen to go through all the options for the blinds, the lights, the climate controls, the display. We can even control what's on the audio system if we're a boss like that but then also this is to roll the windows up or down power door lock controls but then the blinds i can actually go in here and say hey close the back close the side vice versa so just very neat how all that works now again you use this to control the vents and you can adjust that there this middle seat pull that down we have a nice storage tray, nice and deep storage tray. You even have USB-C charge ports. That's pretty cool in here. And then I wonder how you get this open. Click there. Oh, okay. So you hit that button that slides out. Interesting. Very interesting. And then seat back pockets are on both sides. And then up here, you do have USB-C charge port, and I love how that's just hidden behind there. Very nice. And I love that roof as well. And then our lights here, very bright. But let's go ahead and make our way towards the back. Do love this, and you do get it on both sides. And again, if you're ever locked in here, just pull that. the back in here I like the styling there that's actually growing on me quite a bit I think that looks beautiful hit this button here pop the trunk quick look underneath the vehicle that's just interesting how everything's stowed under there but of course tons of space back here it's a little skinny just having the side wheel wells kind of poking out there but 
Still great storage in here. Fuel cap there. And then to this rear passenger side, your top tethers are up there. And then your anchors are hidden. And I like that because it's nice and hidden there, but then when you pull it up, it's very easy to get to. And I don't know how you close that back up, but interesting setup, I'll fix that later. Now I am curious if you can actually fold those seats down. Wouldn't necessarily count on it, but that'd be interesting if you could. Front passenger seat here, controls are there. And this surface here is very neat to look at, but very reflective. So sorry if you can't see that. Same thing with what's going on over here. And then your glove compartment button is right there. And I love how it opens almost silently. It's little things like that that make you think that a vehicle is luxurious. And before I forget, this does have the soft closed doors on it. So you can just kind of slowly shut it and it'll finish the job for you but there is that turbocharged six cylinder engine let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat check out that screen but i love the steering wheel here flat bottom there there's the horn I'm gonna close the sunshade so that I can get a better look at this screen here. But we do have, I'm in the full menu here, but for audio, we get AM, FM, XM, and then on top of that, we have Bluetooth audio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility. Not 100% sure if it's wireless. Couldn't find a definitive answer on that, but. Over here, you can go through the menu to go through all of your options here. There is a lot in terms of what you can do to configure this vehicle the way you want to. Now over here, we have the dual zone automatic climate controls, which I love because I can change fan speed on one side. Let's say turn the fan off on another side, and then I can just have this one set up or have that at a different temperature. It's just, there's so many ways you can configure this. And BMW has been in the business of doing that for quite a while now we have three-stage heated front seats in this particular model and we have three-stage heated steering wheel too which is great and then to the navigation system here destination input pretty easy to use that system and then you have your Bluetooth devices you can hook up there backup cameras there pictures pretty good guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel and then you also have that bird's eye view too which I like you can cut that on or off if you want to see the picture better. So tons of different views there. Down here, the hazards. And this is one of the neatest things I figured out. You hit the hazards button and all of this just illuminates red. <laughs> so that's just funny to me. A wireless charging pad is there. Bottle holder here. Have one here as well. And you can close either one of those. And then over here, this is pretty interesting. First of all, I like how BMW has come with the using this first and foremost. So this used to be a nuisance. It's still not 100% awesome, but it's not bad. So I can scroll through or I can kind of tap down to go through different areas of the screen, if that makes sense. But all of your shortcuts are there. And then volume can be adjusted here. Click to mute. And then you can go through radio station presets there or track list. And then you have your my modes here. So all of that is available to you. And we also have a suspension which we can raise or lower. And then our driver assistance, we can turn that on. And also mess with the chassis as well. There's a shortcut for the camera, but automatic brake hold is there. 
you hit that button that pulls up your electronic parking brake but if you're in drive that just puts you in park there so push button start to put it into gear pull up for reverse tap down for neutral pull all the way down for drive and then you can tap over to shift and then your paddle shifters are right here and when you activate those it'll put you into that manual mode there center console cubby space two usb-c charge ports and then i think that's actually a a 12 volt in there too now back up here to the sunroof controls are here so i can toggle these lights here if i want to and then there we have the glass roof so very interesting how this thing functions because i'm used to the sunshade going back towards the back of the vehicle not towards the front But let's check out these vanity mirrors. I like that, that's pretty neat. So the light's actually up top there. Let's get through this, we can go to the drive. So blinkers here, high beams are there. You can flash there. And then cruise controls over here, limiter there. Then we can set the speed and all that. Volume controls, we can change our content that's seen in the middle there and then the layout of the actual digital gauge cluster and then for the heads up display I can change what's shown there. So I'm gonna zoom in here and show you. So those different views are available. And then Bluetooth voice recognition, hit this, it pulls up your audio sources and then in the heads up display again, you can go ahead and scroll through that or go through your presets going this way or that way there. And then we do have automatic wipers, so high, low, auto, off, one time, and then we can adjust the auto. It's kind of in a weird spot because the paddle shifter is so big. If you can put that there and then adjust the sensitivity of those wipers there, and then just pull up for the front wiper fluid. But paddle shifters are pretty neat. You can actually hold this down to put you into like a boost function, and then it kind of gives you that for 10 seconds, then it goes away. But other than that, let's take a quick look at this key fob. It's pretty interesting. And now we're gonna take this 2023 BMW 740i out on the road for a test drive.